Congratulations! You've made it to the fifth and final module in the course right now, which is going to focus on lists of data in Scratch. Truthfully, if you've made it this far, you've probably made it through the hardest stuff. Uh, this last topic is going to seem like an advanced topic at first, and it is a topic that you uh, might not be as likely to use on a regular basis, but it's a topic that uh, those of you who are computer science teachers are going to want to be able to use with your students. And it's a topic that those of you who are even just regular discipline teachers teaching science or English or mathematics or something like that might be able to use in developing some programs that you use with your students. So you may not have your students using lists, but you yourself may they want to write some code that uses lists. In order to explain lists and why we might want to use them, I really have to start with that idea of why we might want to use them. So let me start by actually kind of motivating this concept of a list by showing you a project that a student did a couple of semesters ago with uh, the assignment where you're supposed to tell a story. The student wanted to tell a story that was this song. Some of you may recognize this song. It's a song that's a kind of a standard children's song that says, today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday is string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. And then it goes on to Tuesday. Tuesday is spaghetti, Wednesday, Wednesday is soup. Uh, and I'm going to just Real quick, I'll, I'll put a link on the Course Builder website to this video on YouTube. You can go watch it on YouTube itself. But it's a really simple song that goes like this. This is an Eric Carle illustration of this song. Okay, so it seems kind of strange to me to be showing a video inside of a video that I'm recording. So I won't play the whole song, but uh, again, I'll make I'll put links both to this YouTube video and to the original lyrics of this song. But we're going to be end this video now, and in the next video, we'll start to show you some of the challenges of making this the animation that we want to use.